All right, so I just got done watching Taboo. Actually, I got done with it last night. I wasn't going to make a video on it because I just don't think it's that great of a show. Here's my problem with Taboo. Oh, my eyes are red. All right. So the plot of it all is the father dies, the son comes back from wherever the hell he had been hiding for 10 years. Everybody thought he was dead. He comes, he starts fighting for a company that his dad had along with property and turns out the property is worth an imaginable amount of money. And, um, and it's very crucial in the trade industry and, you know, U.S. and China, whoever is getting ready to fight over it and, you know, he owns it and the, the big companies try to come in and, and scoop it up from under him by telling him that it's not worth nothing. But of course he's done his research, so he knows it's worth a lot. All right, so that's the main, the main plot of it all. So at first I've had it saved on Hulu to watch for months, but I never really was ready to sit and watch it. It's a, it's a British show. So, you know, British shows, they're usually just like eight to 10 episodes, very short. And there's no dragging along. There's no, um, there's no slow points to, to the, to their shows. It's just straight to the point and that's it. Um, that's what I loved about it. So I said, okay, it's only eight episodes. Let me get into it. You know, it'll be over quick and I'll get all my good, um, all the goodness out of it. And then I realized that it had Tom Hardy in it. I'm a huge Tom Hardy fan. And ever since he did Bane, I've been a huge fan of his. Um, and then I was like, oh, I'm excited to watch it. And then it starts unraveling that his characters haven't had a love affair with his, his stepsister, basically. Not stepsister, his half-sister. And they've had a kid, and the sister has nothing to do with the kid. She doesn't want nothing to do with the guy, whatever. He doesn't have nothing to do with the kid. He just left the kid in in, um, in the care of some random dude without any money, without how you know him knowing how the kid's going to eat or anything like that. So, you know, he just shows back up, and his character has, like, no sense of humor. He's just straight face all the time. Oh, do this or do that. But there's no, there's no joking. There's no, there's no emotion at all. And that, I don't, I don't like that in the, in the show. No emotion, just stoic, just all about the business. Just, he has plan. He's it's planned out. Everything's planned out ahead of time. Here's the one part that I did like about it is that they incorporate some kind of uh, African voodoo within the show. And um, that's basically all that I liked about it. And, you know, Tom Hardy, but I kind of hate him now. Well, not hate him, but I'm kind of turned off by it because of the whole half-sister and him love affair and shit. And, um, yeah, it just wasn't that good. Like, I am, I mean, it's good, but I like mystery, and I like a lot of questions. I like to be left with, well, wait, what, you know, how has this happened, and how has that happened? I like when a show's over for me to have a, a ton of un 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 unanswered questions like Castle Rock and um, Dark Series and stuff like that. There's so much questions left to ponder. With this, it's just like everything just played out. There's no guessing. You know, a problem comes up and right away they have a plan to fix it. It just doesn't... I don't see the longevity of it. As with other shows, it's just very cut and dry and I don't like it. So would I recommend you to watch Taboo? Yes, it's a good show. Prepare to be grossed out because he's literally like a cannibal. He would eat somebody's face off. He, he you know, just carved them up 
and the whole um, affair thing. Um, those two points is gross. But like I said, would I recommend it? Yeah, if you like that, create that stuff. But as far as um, being my type of show, I, I wouldn't. I would watch season two because I'm already invested, but I'm not excited for season two, um, which is coming early 2019, I believe. That's what I read online. But yeah, what's it called again? Taboo. <laughs> I, I didn't like it. Not like the uh, Dark or um, Castle Rock. I love those. This is a good placeholder until those good those um good shows come back. Tell me what you guys think.